Welcome to BASF, the chemical company. So it makes sense that we should familiarize you with the basic chemistry taught at our Polyurethanes Academy. We're going to simplify things a bit in this video and at the same time cover a lot of topics. So let's get started. First, let's introduce you to two of our leading characters, isocyanates or iso and resin. Let's talk about iso first. When we make isos, we do so in very large quantities. For our purposes today, there are only a few types of isos. Pure MDIs and TDIs, and that's their nicknames, form long and squiggly chemical structures. That's because they have fewer places to connect to. They're generally used to make flexible products, like seat cushions, mattresses, and instrument panels. Polymeric MDIs have many more places to plug into, which creates more of a structure. They're generally used to make, you guessed it, rigid products like picnic coolers, boat hulls, and foam insulation. Now, when BASF makes a resin, we create a custom formula of additives that include polyols. They're the backbone of the mix. Polyols make up the majority of the mix, kind of like flour is to a cake batter. Polyols determine the physical properties of the product, like how soft or hard the product is. Catalysts. They control the speed of the chemical reaction and how quickly it cures. Surfactants determine the cell structure and influence the flow. Pigments determine the color. Flame retardants make it safer. Adhesion promoters make it stickier. And finally, blowing agents help determine the density and foaming action. At BASF, we're proud of the custom formulas we produce for our customers. Our ISOs and resins provide a custom formula combined to make the unique products our customers need. Products that are flexible. Products that are rigid. Products just the way our customers like them. So, there you have it. The basics of polyurethanes from BASF, the chemical company.